Good morning, everybody. It is 8.45, December 25th. Skies were solid covered here a little bit ago. I don't know if you can see way back there. But as that cloud cover left, it's moving that way. It left us to where we could see what was above it. So it goes to show you, they're staying busy spraying this stuff constantly. It's all above us, around us. Everybody's got it, you guys. So, I was just talking with another brother in Christ. You see it's all around, right? Okay. No sense in... Uh, looking at it over and over it's just there you guys can see it okay God bless you guys in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ I hope and I pray everybody here can receive a message I was hoping I came down here by the it's a little chilly out here came down here hoping uh, the store would be open, but I guess today being the 25th, you know? And I've seen it was clearing up here, so I figured maybe the grocery store would be open. I got a two-part video I need to do here, you guys. It's seven pages, and I want to remind everybody, you guys, um, what Jesus did for us, who you are. Your eyes are open, okay, to see what's going on. So by grace, you're saved, okay? Now we go boldly before the throne for what Christ did on the cross. You boldly go to the throne. We have been redeemed from the earth, okay? Now the thing is, we're going through a purification. Now we've had our eyes open and know the truth. Now we're gonna be getting into the scripture, man. Now we're gonna be saying, okay, what is it that Christ is telling us? What do we need to do? You know, what must we do to to uh, be in obedience to him? Well, we have to come out from among them. Because they don't see what we see, do they? We've been separated. Now, scripture also tells us to take control of your vessel. Okay? Take control of your vessel. We can do these things through Christ. We've been saved. And uh, this is where it comes. This is where it goes, you guys. By grace you have been saved through faith, not of yourselves. Okay, it's by what Christ did on the cross. So, you know, we go boldly before the throne. And we're going to be, we're, we're going through a process here. All of us are. Um, not everybody, like the people that are asleep that can't receive the word. We've tried telling them, but God help them, man. They can't receive it. I got some scripture here, you guys. It's going to take two videos. These are going to be the only two videos that I load up today. Okay? James chapter 1, 12 through 22. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempeth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. And enticed. Okay. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, it bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will beget, beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be kind of first fruits of his creatures. Excuse me. Okay. All right, you guys, I had to sneeze.
Alright, of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluitiness of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Okay? You guys, we were saved under doing good works. Okay? Now, people that used to know me back before I had my eyes open, man, they, they wouldn't know me no more. Actually, a lot of them thought I thought I lost it, thought I was crazy, you know, because I totally changed. And this is the way it's been. I traveled the whole nation, you guys. I went all over the place. And I went to Israel, and I even showed people Israel. Same thing's going on. i seen where other people went to Israel. They don't even show you or talk about what's really going on. They're not. And it's, it's the perversion. It's a spirit that's in people over there. That's what's happening. And a lot of people aren't reporting these things. But I've seen some of those same people trying to sell you gold coins too. Making merchandise of you. Telling them to put, put my name there and you know that way I can get a bonus for getting you to buy this silver and gold. And we know scripture says they're going to be casting it out into the streets. Silver and gold ain't going to do you no good unless you receive the mark of the beast. You know? We need to be totally separated from it and getting in and reading and understanding the Word of God and edifying one another, okay? Now, this is where, you know, you guys, we have been sealed until the day of redemption now, okay? This is where we've had our eyes open. We know who we are in Christ. Now we're resisting the devil now, where before we didn't. Now we do. Now we're taking control of our vessel, where before we didn't. But now we do. You see what I'm saying? We're, we're getting stronger. This is why he's given us time to do this. And we're watching. Not only are we watching, we're seeing God's word come to pass. Not too many people are witnessing what we're witnessing. This is by grace. They don't even look up to see what we see in the sky. Hebrews chapter 4, 16, and then uh, 5, 10. Alright, let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace in time of need. Alright, for every, all right, now here's 5 and 10. Okay. Here's five, let me read it. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way? For that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. And by reason hereof he ought as for the people, so also for himself, to offer for sins. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. As he said also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayer and supplication with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered and being made perfect he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him you see the importance of obedience here you guys obedience 
This is where we have to be obeying him, his teachings, his word. He said, if you love me, you'll, you'll obey my word. You'll obey my teachings if you love me. Now, in, this is where you guys were told to control our vessels, to overcome, and to put God, praise and worship God first, and then our brothers and sisters in Christ, and to do God's will, which is to be good unto our brothers and sisters. You guys, they're going to hate us. They're going to want to kill us. Um, it's a different spirit that's abiding in them now. Okay, so... For by grace you are saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Here, Ephesians 2. I'm sorry, you guys, I missed this part. 1 through 10. You has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. This is when we had our eyes open, you guys. Quickened us. I mean, literally. Okay? And this is why I would like to remind everybody, remember who you are in Christ and, and know that our eyes are open. That's by the Holy Spirit that abides in us. Okay, so knowing this, you should be um, praising God for these things, the gift that we've been given to see. And we should be, like it says, now that we know the truth, we should be, we know what we're up against. So therefore, we should be resisting the devil, overcoming temptations, uh, bringing into obedience um, every thought. So you got a lot of people out there that'll say, well, if you had a thought, you've sinned. Well, let's read the scripture and see what the scripture says. It says if you, have a, if you, if you look at a woman and then you lust after her, then you've committed sin, okay? But to your eyes to glance, you say, oh, wow, man, look at the way they're dressed. But you don't lust after her, you're not sinning. But if you're looking and you're lusting, then you're sinning. Okay? So when I see stuff like that, you guys, I immediately look away. And I immediately, the word comes to mind. Okay? This is how we resist these things. Now, they have another spirit in them. That's why they dress the way they dress because that's what they're going to do. Okay? So know who you are in Christ. And don't be overcome with the... Uh, don't be overcome with evil. Okay? You know what evil is now, don't you? We didn't know that before, but we do now. So knowing what you know, what should you be doing? What manner of person ought you be if you know this now? You see what I'm saying? Listen to how it says right here, you guys. You as he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin, we're in time past. Behind us now. It's behind us. Uh, you walked according to the course of this world. Well, now we went to the other side of the river. We're not going with the flow of these things no more, are we? We don't do it no more. All right? According to the prince of the power of the air, we know who that is now. We're more aware now than we ever were before. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, the ones that won't listen to us, even when we try to share what we know, what's going on, and we try to tell them, what these holidays what do they got to do with what's in scripture nothing it tells you to stay away from idols when you're celebrating Christmas a fat man in a red suit that, those are idols they are all these holidays man they were created the government's dumping all this stuff on our head right now are they telling everybody what they're doing no so we know perfectly well they're the enemy they're all they got the devil in them you know, now they're out to destroy everything. I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like out there, man. It's crazy. Among, and you guys, there's no reason to be nervous about it, man. Praise God that you can see. I'm glad I can see. These people drive up and down the road, they don't see nothing. 
Praise the Lord, you guys. Know who you are. We've been saved by the grace of God, man. So we need to be boldly coming to the throne and receive the mercy that we've been given. Okay? And we don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit that we know abides in us right now. It's the Holy Spirit that abides in us. Don't grieve it, but receive it. And thank God for this, you know? You don't want to be sitting there saying, you know, have doubt, disbelief. Because you see clearly, you should be, you should be like a tree, not a little mustard seed anymore. That's the smallest seed that there is, okay? You should be like a tree. We've been chosen, kind of like the first fruit, you know? Kind of like first fruit, that's what it says. We've been kind of like chosen, like the first fruit, the harvest. It's near, but we got to see the tares get gathered first, tares among whom we all had our conversations in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others are. But God, who is rich in mercy, see, that's why we come to the throne where we've been saved, you know, the, where mercy, to receive the mercy we've been given. Boldly do it. Your eyes are open, right? So come to it, man boldly all right who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins he quickened us together with Christ by grace you're saved he's raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly places in Christ right now that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus for by grace you're saved through faith. Not of ourselves, it's the gift of God. It's not of works either, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. You guys, everything's been predestined. Everything's been predestined. Our everything, you know, we're... Everything that we're going to do. Let me show you this real quick. Hang on. That's for me. Now the real about this, you guys. This is all the government, what they're spraying down on you right now. Well, on me, anyhow. I'm over here. I'm sure they're being generous where you are, too. <coughs> okay? All right, you guys. Oh, look at that. There's one going up. And this is how fast it is. It's like he came from behind the hill there. They got to wipe this out, man. I found a little cloud coverage. <laughs> I found a little cloud coverage. They weren't expecting this. Well, you can see him right back to you there. It's a blessing, you guys, to see what we see. The Lord's opened our eyes. We're seeing the word of God being fulfilled right now. <clears throat> the prophets wanted to know, Lord, when will this day be? And here we are. We're witnessing it. And they were like, when will this day be? And here we are. You know? Wow. All right. So you guys, boldly, know who you are in Christ, okay? Now, I've had other people that have talked about having addictions like cigarettes, um, caffeine, you guys. I drink, um, 
I drink one or two shots of coffee with my milk and honey every morning. You know, I, I don't see where that's bad. Um, cigarettes, you guys, I don't see where, you know, it would be a good idea to overcome anything that's an addiction. Do I drink this all day? No. Okay. Cigarettes, you guys, listen. If your eyes are open, you've been predestined and chosen. Okay. Um, I'm not going to sit there and say somebody's going to hell for that because I, would, I wouldn't I would be right if I said it. Okay. Um, just try to take control of it. Don't let it have power over you. And then uh, through Christ, you can overcome anything, you know. Let it become less and less and less, you know. And you'll just overcome these things, you know. Just overcome it. That's what we have to do. Okay. But uh, I taste more milk and honey than I do the coffee. A little bit I can taste the coffee, not much. But uh, you have to overcome these things. And don't let these things control you. It's like a thought. Don't let the thought uh, overcome you to where you, where you conceive it. See, that's when you've sinned, okay? But we have a mediator, which is Christ. You can come to Christ and repent. Say your daily prayer. That's where we repent daily. And we say, give us this day our daily bread, which is the word of God. And then we say, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Say your daily prayers and, uh, and we ask for forgiveness, you know. But know that we've been saved by grace, by the mercy of God. Okay? And he'll finish what he started in us. He's already started it. He's opened our eyes. By grace, we've been saved through faith, through the finished work of Jesus Christ. Now we've been washed by the blood, okay? Now we have to take control of our vessels, okay? Now, this next video that I'm gonna be doing is going to be getting into this, where it talks about, you know, we don't wanna be submitting ourselves anymore into these things, okay? Where it says in, uh, In Ephesians 4, uh, 27, it says, neither, neither give place to the devil. All right. Let him who stole steal no more, but rather let him labor which working with his hands where he may give to them that need it. Okay. Let no com corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, okay, the word of God. This is where we want to be. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And then be kind one towards another, tenderhearted, giving of one another. Even as Christ did for our sakes, he has forgiven you. Okay? We... we we know we can do all things through Jesus Christ, okay? We can boldly come to the throne of grace by which we are saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. All our past sins have been washed away, you guys, and they're in remembrance no more. But this is where he tells us to take control of our vessel. Don't take pleasure in unrighteousness, because that's death. It is death. And he says he knows our mind, and remember, our body's a temple. He dwells in us. So, if you're taking pleasure in sin, he knows it. He'll send you strong delusions. We've been over these scriptures a lot. If you're uh, getting into fornication. Now, there's other people that'll say, talk about future sins. I don't talk about future sins. Only thing I talk about is taking control. What scripture says. Scripture doesn't say future sins. Okay? It says we have a mediator where we can repent of our sins. And he'll forgive us our sins, but it also says if you take pleasure in it, he'll send you strong delusions, okay? He wants us to overcome. He wants us to take control of our vessels. And he says, blessed are those for when they are tried, 
Okay, in other words, we're going to be resisting it. Taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. When your obedience is fulfilled. Now how can your obedience be fulfilled if you're constantly submitting to sin? Because you say you can't overcome it. Well, the Word of God says you can, and I believe what the Word says, okay? And I'm going to constantly be fighting against it. I have been. You know, last night I've had a couple of dreams, and they're normally really small now. They're just little glimpses and flashes, and I wake up immediately because we're getting stronger by resisting it. When you don't resist it, see, they're going to try, they want you to sin. Why? Because you're letting it in. Now your vessel has sin. It's sin that abides in you. That's what scripture says. And this is what we want to get out. We want to get the sin out of us. These are spirits. These are spirits, you guys. All right. I'm going to start another video. And uh, remember, greater is he that abides in you than what is in the world. Okay. You have to remember who you are in Christ while you're fighting against this enemy because it's by his power and his might that abides in us. That's why he came, to destroy the works of the devil. And he's done it. He did it. But you have to believe it and you have to do it. You know, and believe. Your faith is very important, you guys. God bless you. I love each and every one of you. I hope and pray you receive a message from this. Stay strong in the Lord. Be filled with faith, okay? And believe, because it's true. Look at how we see the Holy Spirit abiding in you. That's why you see what you see. So he's here to help you. He's here to help us to overcome these things right now. So let him. God bless you guys. In Jesus' name, amen.